Hello and welcome to today's live coaching call and community conversation. Today we're going to talk about three, three common mistakes that are being made very innocently by women who are using intermittent fasting as a means to lose weight. Usually that's the first approach. And then realizing how amazing and beneficial intermittent fasting is as a lifestyle. And then, you know, want to continue on with it, maybe even after they've lost weight. We talked about that on Monday or are just looking for some benefits to how they are aging. So we're going to talk about that today. You know, I like to come to you as the woman with the mindset approach of the decisions we're making and how it is we're going to be taking care of ourselves. Because when we change the way we think about things, that often changes the way we feel in the moment of making decisions. And that's ultimately where we're going to find our success with anything that we do in life but particularly with intermittent fasting. And we're proving that inside the intermittent fasting for today's aging woman course. It is week one. And a lot of our February, 2023 students are having these aha moments about what fasting can mean for them when they get really comfortable with how their body is feeling and the decisions and thoughts that they make during that process. So we're going to focus a little bit on that today. If you're interested in jumping into one of our courses, we do run them monthly. Our next one starts March 4th. Information can be found at fortodaysagingwoman.com. As always, descriptions are in the description box below. If you want to get on my email list or you're ready to register, registration's open. Okay, so we're going to talk about three common mistakes. And I'm using these common mistakes from feedback from very real women in our community. So that could be you. And some of the things that you're struggling with or fighting with that are starting in your mindset that are really keeping you from reaching those physical benefits that we really want to have with intermittent fasting. So the three most common mistakes, believe it or not, with intermittent fasting have nothing to do with what you put in your coffee. It has everything to do with you haven't decided, did I spell that right? Decided yet, which hard you're going to choose. Like which hard are you really wanting to have for the rest of your life? Is it managing the struggle you have with how you see yourself or how you're feeling every day when you wake up. It is the struggle. Is it the struggle of, Oh my God, I can't imagine living my life without X, Y, Z in the morning. Is it the, the struggle that you have or the hard that you're having to manage with your doctor always being on your back about lowering your blood pressure or reversing your diabetic state or whatever it is you have going on that you're going to frequently have to see your doctor about? Like Those are all hard things. And for a lot of women, hard is also changing some of the habits we've created for ourselves in our lifestyle. So a very common mistake, and I think if you get this number one, right, you decide which hard it is you want to tackle and the benefits that's going to bring you in the long run, you will find that fasting can be very simple. It's this fights we have in our head and the dialogue we have in our head that convinces us that some of the things that are really making life hard for us are the things we can't live without. And one of those biggest things is the things you're doing in the very first part of your day that is exactly when you're starting that feast or fasting state, right? That chemical and hormonal process that we're trying to take advantage of. And then you're interrupting it because you haven't really decided yet. This feels hard. I don't know if I can do it. And you haven't realized that the reason you're looking for some changes in your life is because some things that you have going on are also hard. So decide the hard that you want to live with. And then how do you see that playing out for yourself in the future? Number two, you don't trust your body. So this is something that we're discussing currently inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course because it is week one and we're talking about intermittent fasting specifically. And the feelings that we get or the questions that we we have about what we're doing in our feasting window and the fear that we have about not getting enough calories. This is where trusting your body is a must in this process of making change. Because if you look around, right, the common people, the majority of people in the world are tragically overeating because we have this fear of not getting enough or food is always present or not managing our mind about the decision-making processes we have when 
things in life happen and we turn to food as the fixer or the soother or the thing that's going to distract us. And so we just don't have any trust in our body that the sensations that we have will subside once we train our body to live another way. So if you don't trust your body, it's going to be a big mistake for you in trying to really master and get all the benefits of intermittent fasting because you're going to always default to blaming the fast and you're not going to make the connection that it's your brain and the decision making process that you're making that doesn't allow your body to do what it has been so beautifully designed to do and that's take care of itself in the absence of food or understanding that your body knows how to manage what it needs in caloric intake and we don't have to do that for it. The third common mistake is you fear hunger. So we here in our community, we have a saying, right? Hungry is where the magic happens. We thrive in a state of hungry because we understand what that sensation is. Hunger and starvation are two completely different chemical and hormonal situations that are going on in our body. And if you present with hunger in a fasted state and you're fasting correctly, that is your new superpower. Your hunger hormones will get to the point where they balance themselves out you will learn to trust your body and will understand that a little feeling of hunger might feel hard in the beginning, but once you understand that superpower and you start to reap the benefits of what your body does in a fasted state of hunger, you will thrive in that place and you will look for hunger more than try to quiet it down or make it go away. Hungry is magical for us when we find comfort in it and understand what our body's power is in a state of hungry when we are doing things correctly. So remember that a hunger signal is just your body saying, hey, I need some things. And if you are fasting correctly and you deny the sensation and you don't fear the sensation, your body will turn inward and find its own storage to satisfy that sense of hunger. So if you take your brain out of it and you let your body do the work, then hungry will be satisfied on its own. These three things are the premise of what I teach women every single day, what I do in my coaching calls with women, and the mindset shifts that we're making inside the Midlife Mindset Shift course. If you can master these three things and really learn the power that fasting has in your life, you will never question it and you will not want to step away from it because it will become your superpower. So I hope this is satisfying. Maybe some of those, you know, inklings you have in your own mind about whether fasting is going to work for you as a woman, whether fasting is going to be the thing that's going to help you lose weight, why it is you're not reaping some of the benefits. Go back and ask yourself some of these things. Have you really decided which hard is going to be the one that you're going to choose? And hard is always just a temporary thing until you master a new skill. Are you trusting your body and understanding that if your brain just moves out of the way and your thoughts move out of the way, that your body will take over and take charge and do for you what it has been beautifully designed to do? And are you fearing hunger and trying to do everything you can to quiet it down? And that's usually putting some food or new nutritional experience in your body, which just shut down your fasted state. So answer these three questions for yourself, and I'm sure you will get your uh common mistakes cleared up and you will start on the journey of reaping all the benefits. Okay. So let's read the questions and comments here today. If you haven't done so yet and you're on YouTube, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. That will allow you the opportunity to leave questions or just say hello. I love having the two-way conversation with you guys. Make sure you hit that like button on YouTube and Facebook as well. Again, this really does help this content get out to women who are searching for it or might be in need of it. So many of you who are in class always say, I don't know how I found you, but I'm so happy I did. And the reason that you found us is because someone hit a like button or subscribed or shared. 
And that information was presented to you when you were just searching on Facebook or YouTube. So as a community, we're doing all the work to pay it forward for others to find this as well. Martha, hello from Oregon. Loving the February 23 class. I love that for you, my friend. Hopefully you're thinking about some of these things with the lessons that we have um, going on this week in class. Think about these three areas, Martha. Make sure you're clear on which hard you want to choose for your forever and future self. Make sure you're trusting your body when you get those little pings and pangs of hunger and then just trust hunger. Don't fear it. It is magical. And when you get that energized sense of calm, I mean, it's just beautiful. And I can't wait for you to feel that if you haven't felt it yet. Tina, I made the mistake of thinking I didn't need to exercise, but once I started, I saw the benefits, less bloating, less sluggish and more energy. And I feel great. I'm thankful that I got to exercise, that I get to exercise daily. Yeah, I'm the same way. And I've had to do a lot of mindset shifts as well, Tina, around exercise with limiting beliefs, right? And I thought, I used to think that if I, if I can't run for an hour, like what's the point? Um, and so I'm really trying to change that. And any movement is beneficial movement. It doesn't always have to be perfect. It doesn't always have to be pretty. It doesn't always have to be as you know planned. Sometimes just getting up and moving your body is all we need. And Tina, I'm so happy that you are reaping those benefits. Kelly, July 22 grad. Well, Kelly, hopefully you are doing well and thriving with your intermittent fasting lifestyle. I love um, that our grads come back and check in with us. So uh, thanks for being here with us today. Uh, Betty. Hi, Betty from North Coast of Ohio. Loving my IF life. I love that. Uh, Suzanne, can strong coffee break a fast? So if it's black coffee, most likely not, unless, uh, Sue Ann, you are one of those people who cannot metabolize coffee. So it's the metabolism aspect that's going to break a fast or not break a fast. So I happen to be one of those people who can, I thrive on my coffee in the morning and I like a nitro cold brew, which is a pretty strong coffee. And what I have found is it actually enhances the end result of what I want from my fast, which is getting my body into a low level state of ketosis without having to follow a ketogenic diet. So I do not manage macros. I do not limit carbohydrates. I do not follow a ketogenic diet lifestyle um, and can still produce ketones um, pretty much anytime I decide that that's what I'm going to do. And coffee has been one of those things that's helped me. So you have to figure out for you, Sue Ann, do you, do you feel like you're metabolizing coffee well? And usually you can tell you're metabolizing it well if it doesn't cause you to have like the jitters or it's not keeping you awake at night and you don't feel any negative effects of coffee. That's the best way to test that. Karen, have you heard anything about MCT oil helping a fast? So MCT oil is a pure fat. Um, so it can enhance what it is you're doing in your fasting window. I always just like to say this, that, you know, there's a difference between dirtying up a fast and keeping a fast squeaky clean. So if you're really looking for those cellular repair, DNA turnover, autophagy type of benefits from fasting, I always recommend keeping it squeaky clean. If you know that you can fudge it a little bit in your fast and it's not going to derail what it is you say you want or take you out of what it is you say you want, uh, then I say play around with the MCT oil and see if it's going to enhance something for you. That's the way I use coffee. Judy, uh, thank you. This is so good. Hunger is my superpower. It's where my magic happens. Yes, Judy, that's how it is for most of us. It is the best. When you... And, and here's what I love about finding comfort in a state of hungry. Um, we just went through a big freeze here in Texas. We couldn't leave, literally could not leave our house for a week. Uh, roads were shut down. Trucks weren't coming in bringing food. Like it was, you know, a shutdown. And we didn't have any concerns or worries about food at all. Like we can survive on what we have and probably even less. And there's something about that that also feels really good knowing that, you can be okay in the absence of food what, with whatever's going on around you. And that's just practicing this lifestyle, right? And we do do a lot of practice here and mindset work on just managing ourselves and our thoughts and how we show up and how we feel in the decision-making process when life happens. Because when life happens or things get hard, you will practice what you practice. And so, so many of us can find this comfort and this safety in knowing that we can just do more with less. And so that's where the magic happens for sure. Judy, um, trusting your body for sure. 
Monique, January 22 grad, is it daily work getting my mind out of my way? Yes, because your mind is always there with you. So what I really like to teach, and we do this inside the Midlife Mindset Shift course. So Monique, I would recommend jumping in with us when we do our next registration, which will be at the end of February. We practice all of this and practice identifying thoughts that don't serve us and how we have the power to just go, "Mm, not today, brain. I'm going to tell you how I want you to think. And you just replace thoughts that aren't working for you with thoughts that you want to work for you. And the more you just practice that, just like anything else we practice, whether it's a violin or going out to run or what we do for our job, the more the more proficient we become. So you just got to put your 10,000 hours in of managing your mind. And then before you know it, then those thoughts just start to naturally change on their own or you're better at identifying them. It, they don't derail you. Sylvia, so, definitely choosing the hard of having my mind in check and trusting my body is so worth it. And I have now experienced that when I show up for my body, my body shows up for me. Wow, that should be on a t-shirt, Sylvia. When I show up for my body, my body shows up for me. Yes, because your primary, the primary job of our body is to keep us alive and functioning. We, in our decision-making process, get in the way of that. So Sylvia, I love the work that you are doing and it is 100% true. When you show up for your body, well, your body will show up for you. And we build that beautiful, trusting relationship and That's the one relationship that we have to build the most trust on, right? We work on outside relationships all the time. And so few of us, especially women, do that internal work and sometimes internal healing so that we can have a trusting relationship with ourselves. And Sylvia, I'm super proud of the work that you're doing. Uh, Shauna, I'm really enjoying your class. I've crushed it and I'm letting my body go through the feeling hungry process. I don't fear anymore or try to interrupt my fast. Yes, that's home free for you, right? And then you know that, and this is why I say here all the time, when in doubt, fast it out. There's something very freeing about knowing that you can just fast. And whether you're running around running errands and you don't have a snack or like you, there's a ice storm and you don't have the ability to go to the store or you just have a busy day. You don't have to preoccupy your mind or pull out your wallet. You can just stay fasted and just reap all the amazing benefits that that can provide for you. Uh, So it is beautiful when that happens. Uh, Leslie, August 22 grad. I've always loved the quote, drop the oars and feel the utter worthiness of your being. Wow. That's amazing. Trust your body and feel the amazing power of your body to take care of you. 100%. Tina, when I exercise, I do get hungry sooner. For example, I'm used to doing 24, but I notice that the hunger sensation starts around 15 hours. Is that normal? Yeah, because you're asking more. So remember, there's an ask and an answer. So you're asking your body to provide more energy through what it is you're doing with your exercise. So it's having to, having to tap, tap in and get to that storage. And then the answer is the feeling of hunger. So this is why I drink black coffee after my workout because it does subside that hunger feeling and allows my body to just you know feel satiated with the, with the coffee and then do its work on the internal process of feasting. And so maybe try that in your, um, in your post-workout and see if that helps at all. Monique, I meant January 23 grad. Okay, girlfriend, yeah, you should jump in the mindset shift with course with us. We do a lot of that, um, a lot of that work on our brain because it's just training, is all it is. And we're just, it's one of the skill sets. We're just not taught through education. You have to seek out that kind of training. So that's why we're here. Uh, Teresa, November 22 grad, stay the course because it works. Rinse and repeat. Yes, girlfriend, what a beautiful picture you have there too. Um, yes, rinse and repeat. It takes all the the exhausting thought work out of things. Find the things that work for you, rinse them off, put them back in. Super easy. Angela, um, AKA Silky Soul Sister, January 23 grad, 24 mostly, one meal a day, once a week. I rarely, I'm rarely hungry anymore. I sip mineral water and use a pinch of salt to help with cravings. The energy is awesome. 21 pounds down. Yeah, the energy is amazing and the energy is already within us. We think we have to go outside, right? exogenously put uh, energy in our system. But if we let our body do it internally, um, then we just can provide it for ourselves. And so you're reaping the benefits of that as well. Linda, August 22 grad, almost down 30 pounds, enjoying your food reels. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more of those. 
Um, it's just so time consuming, but I promise you, I, my goal is to do two or three a week. So I will do two, three a week. The other part about doing food stuff here for this community is the fact that I rinse and repeat all my food. It gets so boring. So that taco salad I posted yesterday, I'll eat that like a couple times a week and have no problems with that. So I probably have to step outside my box a little bit and, um, and um, expand my food genre so that I can be a little bit more entertaining for everyone. But thank you for watching. Mel, September grad, trust your body has been a game changer. Before the class, I was clueless. Now my body is screaming when I eat something it does not want. Yes. So that's just the trust and having really clear communication. Again, communication is one of those skill sets we tend to practice outside. Hopefully we're practicing outside of ourselves to be better with others or outside things. But if we really practice the communication process internally, because our body is constantly speaking to us, um, then that gets easier as well. And then you'll just, your brain will click in and go, it'll have that like memory reflex and that you're going to go to something you ate before that didn't serve you and your brain's going to go, no, 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 warning. Remember we did that before and it didn't work well. So make sure you're always clued in because your body's always trying to get that communication going with you. Dion, I've been sick with a sinus cold, headache, et cetera, listening to my body and I'm fasting at different times. Fasting is stressful and I need to heal. Fasting is not stressful in the negative way. Fasting creates a stress response in your body so that your body will turn into the healing process. So if you feel like you can't fast because you're sick, I always like to make sure you're asking yourself if you're eating healing appropriate foods, because a lot of times when we feel like we need comfort or we're not at our best or we're feeling down and out, we tend to turn to foods that we associate with comfort and soothing. And those aren't the most healing things most of the time. So if you're going to choose to not fast because you don't feel, feel well, make sure you're choosing to feast to heal your body and not continue on with the sick state is the thing that I always like to recommend. Super. Uh, something you say has helped me so much. Hunger is not an emergency. I say that to myself all the time. Thank you for all you do. Yeah, it's just a sensation. That's all it is. And sensations pass all the time. Becky, is that a cheese grater back there with the silk flowers? No, it's just a decorative little dish. So it's no, it's not a cheese grater. That, that seems like that would be a little weird. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe people are doing that. But no, it's just a little vase. Uh, Dr. Atkins recommended his fat fast to get into high ketosis if you hit a stall. This fat fast is 80% fat that you eat and only do this three to five times. Otherwise, your metabolism slows down. So I don't really believe that, but if, if that's what's working for you and you believe that, I think that's great. Um, I think that um, your body, training your body how to do that on the own on its own is the best gift you can give yourself. And um, there's different levels of ketosis. High levels of ketosis are not, now we know, are not always the best state to be in because then your body forgets how to do other things except process fat and stay in ketosis. And that's resulting in a lot of people becoming very metabolically in flexible. It's just like consuming more carbs than your body needs. Then your body becomes metabolically inflexible and then you can't process fat. That's how bodies are storing so much fat. And so I say you have to just really find what works for you and um, find what will allow you to live most authentically eating 80% of your caloric intake in fat, unless that's just how you thrive doesn't seem authentic and having to manage three to five days of that doesn't seem authentic. What if you could just naturally live your day every day making very informed decisions for yourself, fast, long, feast, well, train smart, and then rinse and repeat that process. That seems way easier to me. Kathy C, mineral water. Do you add drops to your water or just buy mineral water? I drink this brand the Mountain Valley, um, it's sparkling water is what I usually have in the morning. I'm just having a second bottle today just for kicks. Um, and then there's also the orange label, which is no sparkling, just flat, but it is mineral water. Um, so that's what I use. <coughs> we have a delivery service that comes to our house. I love it. My entire family drinks it. Even my son in his own apartment now, he has his own, you know, supply of Mountain Valley. It's just what we do. You can add drops if that's easier for you. So you just have to, again, figure out what's going to work best for you, your budget, your time, all the things. Karen, can you do either? Can you do either, Kathy C? Um, 
Oh, you can do either. Okay. So yeah, so you can do either. I just like to buy mineral water, but a lot of people find that the drops are easier. I now love Topo Chico and it can help with hunger, but I also use drops in some of my daily water. There you go. Yep. You got to find what works for you. This works best for me, but I, but just like Karen was saying, it doesn't work best for her. She has other things that she does. So that's also awesome. Diane, I know you love your nitro cold brew. What will you have in March during your no buy month? So I'm not going to Starbucks in March, but I am going to drink my nitro cold brew at home from a can. So I have two companies that I love their um, nitro cold brew. One of them is called the nitro brewing company. And the other one is called Trident coffee. Um, they both have a uh, nitro versions of coffee. So I'm just going to do it at home and not go to Starbucks. I also for Christmas got a nitro like gun machine. I'll do a video on how to use that one. It has these little nitro, um, nitro like tablets or capsules, I guess is what it is capsules. And you can put nitrogen in your coffee at home too. So I'll show all the things in March when I, when I do a little more at home. Um, yes, eating proper foods. Okay, good. Awesome. Jan, good thing for a coal cold is drink eight ounces of water and two tablespoons of mother's apple cider vinegar. Make sure it's others such as brand Bragg's Walmart or grocery store. Oh yeah. So if that works for you, that that's great. You know, I don't think that those, there's ever one little thing. I say, try all the things. If you're sick, try all the things to get better as fast as you can. Amber, after your fast, do you find that eating meat burns your stomach? No, I do not. I do not at all. And it could just be, you know, it could, be just, um, it, it's hard for your body to break down um, something digestively. It could be the quality of meat. It could be the type of meat, but I don't break my fast typically with a solid. I break my fast with a liquid. Diane, hello from Pennsylvania. The Frey skincare is awesome. Thanks for bringing it up. Yes. So if you guys um, are new, maybe, or you haven't been um, around for the latest. We have a Diane by Frey box. This is for US customers only. Um, it has our hashtag on it, but our, our international customers also have a link that they can use. So um, I'll post those before we get off. It's also in the description box for you guys as well. I'm so glad that you picked up some Frey products. Um, today is Thursday, so I detox today. I detox every Monday and Thursday, which is this product right here. Love it, love it, love it. So if you haven't done so yet, check it out. The description uh, the description box holds all the links of things I talk about. Um, and I'll post them in the comment section so you guys can get them quicker. But Diane, thank you for trusting me with that. And I'm glad you love it. Hi, Diane. Glad to be with you. Lulu, so glad to have you with us today. Jan, not others, but mother's apple cider vinegar. Yeah, if that works for you, I think that that's great. Tina, I've learned so much from you in class and your YouTube channel for the first time in my life. I have found something that works. Tina. That's because you created a lifestyle that is authentic to you. That's why it works. And you made the decision to create a lifestyle and not a short-term quick fix that doesn't work for very long diet approach. So you changed your mindset, girlfriend. It's amazing. And I love the person I see in the mirror now. I love that for you, Tina. Yeah. Keep rinsing and repeating and it'll stay there. Kina, hi, Diane. Is a trace mineral supplement beneficial in water or juice? I think if you're trying to boost your electrolytes, it is 100% beneficial. So um, one of the biggest problems for most people in society, not just us as aging women, is the, just the process of dehydration. And so many of us think it's because we're not drinking enough water. And it really is because we don't have the right mineral makeup in our body. And so we want to get more potassium, calcium, sodium, and magnesium. Magnesium and sodium, surprisingly, are the two we really want to focus on. Um, I have a nitro keg. It works great. Awesome. I can. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll share with you guys on um, in March when I change up my little coffee routine for sure. Uh, Shauna. Hi, Diane. Um, I was going to try to get the glucose monitor, but I don't like sticking myself. You mentioned the Lumen device. Not sure how to spell. Can you tell me how to purchase it? Um, yeah. And there's a, there's a very short term discount. If you go to lumen.com and you order and you put in the discount code D Y, uh, you can save $75 on your Lumen for the, for, uh, till the end of February. So Shauna, you can just go to, to the Lumen site and just put for discount code D Y. Um, you can order there $75 off. If you use D Y A N N, it's only $50 off only good through the end of February. So go grab one. And if you don't, um, if 
if that's all confusing for you, you can shoot me an email at dianeparmfitness at gmail.com and I'll send you the exact link with the exact code. Um, so go save yourself some money. Uh, you look awesome. Thank you. It's Detox Thursday. Detox Thursday. Uh, I love the way that makes my face uh, feel and look. It's just like a total like deep puffer of my face. It makes my skin look and feel super radiant. So thank you for noticing and thank you for the compliment. I accept that. Lori bought the fray, tried the fray, love the fray. Love that. I'm going to send that. I'm going to send yours to uh, Diane to the fray people because they love us. I just got an email from them this week saying how motivated they are as a company to make sure that we our community of aging women are not overlooked and that we are represented uh, with their company. So the more we support them, definitely the more they're going to support us. And they have a new uh, hair serum. I'm going to, I'm going to use it right here. It seems to be where I have the thinnest hair right here. So they have a new hair serum coming out um, at the end of February. So we'll have that to use too, for all of us who are really worried about us losing our hair. Um, Sandy, hi, my friend. I will see you tonight. Sandy's doing great things. She's teaching a fitness class at her church. So proud of her. Kina, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Moon Pie, I have no problem with 24 clean fast, but I'm not sure about if I'm eating correctly in my four hours of eating. Any guidelines? Trust your body. Don't make this mistake. Not trust your body. Just eat intuitively. After time of training your hunger hormones, your brain clicks in and it, and you'll just trust, right? And so if you're, I always say, go with how you feel on any given day. Don't worry about calories. Make sure you get a very well-balanced assortment of food in your life so you're getting enough conscious carbohydrates, enough proteins, and enough fats for you, the individual woman, and you don't have to worry about anything. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and I would highly recommend jumping into class with us if you're really concerned about having to, how to figure all that out. I teach you all that in class. Uh, Rebecca, October 22 grad, I've been rinsing and repeating, shocked yesterday when my GKI was three. Not sure why. So following number two, trusting my body. Yeah, right? You know why. Your body's doing what it's supposed to be doing for you. That's great. Just trust it. Don't question it. Judy, uh, you do. Your skin looks like you're aging backwards. I love it. Thank you. It is this, you guys. You like. Here's the thing that we have to remember about skin. It's the largest organ on our body. It takes in everything we put on it, just like eating, right? So I always say I make sure I feast my face well. And there have been so many products that I um, that I that I chose to use that were making me sicker, not making me better. So I treat my skincare like I treat food. And I need to make sure that if I'm going to rub it into my skin or lather it onto my skin, that it's not going to take me away from the goals that I have, which is look and feel my best. I want to make sure it's going to enhance because if you're putting something on your skin that's making you feel bloated or poofy or irritable, which all those things can happen hormonally out of balance. You're not going to look at your skincare first. You're going to think it's fasting because that's the thing you've changed, or hopefully you'll be looking into your food and then you're going to feel like you're going crazy because you can't nail it down. You have to look at your skincare also because you are feeding your skin with products and that's just as effective or can be just of a deterrent of how you age and how, how you heal as food. So look at it all. Great. A hair serum. Yeah, I cannot wait. They're, they're doing all the promos and all that kind of stuff for it right now. And I think it'll be available to us at the end of February. I'm getting a bottle first, so I'll use it. I'll share it and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Rebecca, detox today too. So we will all glow on Zoom tonight. Yes. So if you have a Zoom call with me, make sure you detox before the Zoom call so we can see how radiant your skin is for sure. I love it. Uh, Dale, January 23 graduate. I do love my fray. I love that for you. I love it. I love it. I love it. So all these great testimonials about fasting, all these great testimonials about fray. Fray is going to be super happy. Um, let me do this before we get off. And then it also goes into, um, I know it goes into the comment section. So I'm going to go ahead and for you guys who are here, maybe you're not a fray people yet. I'm going to post the link. The first one is for U.S. customers. So U.S. customers get the box. They cannot ship boxes internationally. The expense of it 
would would take away the discount that they're offering us. So I'm sorry about that. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, so I'm posting both links. Um, outside of the U.S., you get a great kit, all my favorite products as well. Very steeply discount, discounted, so make sure you use the link that I put in here. And I think uh, for Valentine's Day, they're doing a BOGO. So if you buy the set, um, I think $100 gets you free shipping. This is less than $100 at $69. But you can tag on another product, so like a C, vitamin C serum or, a, or um, uh, like a, a moisturizer or the Protect Me, or you can get the um, tinted moisturizer and you'll get one free and that'll probably bump you up to the $100. So you get buy one product, get one free. You get the dye by fray set or box and you get free shipping. Like it's such a great deal. Great deal for sure. What skin lotion do you use for the rest of your body? Um, I vary. I use Dr. Teal's and a couple other things. Um, I don't share those because um, I'm not quite sure how they're working yet. But as soon as I get on one for skincare that are my my actual body that I really love and I'm really confident about, I'll share that with you guys for sure. I'm new to IF. I was fasting. Uh, will fasting 24 help balance my hormones? I'm 54. I had have reached menopause. I have several pounds to lose. So thankful to have found your YouTube channel. Teresa, yes. All, yes, 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 yes to all the things. The, the hormones that most get out of balance for us as we go through a menopause are hunger hormones, which is why so many of us end up sick. And so that's what I teach inside the intermittent fasting for today's aging woman course. I teach you all the ins and outs and the hows and whys um, of fasting so that you can do it correctly so that you can reap all those benefits that you just asked about. But yes, it will do all of those for you and more. So just keep hanging out with us. We're here. We have lots of graduates that come back and very um, confidently share their results as graduates of the course and all the amazing things that are happening in their life. It's so much more than just weight loss, but weight loss seems to be that thing that moves the needle for us in all other areas of our life. Because when you can, Teresa, or uh, yeah, Teresa, show up confidently for yourself, looking your best, feeling your best, doing things in your most authentic way, the world will open up for you and you will be ready for it. One of the big passions that I have here in this community is helping women live their most authentic life. And I believe that the tides have completely shifted for us as women. And we are in this amazing season of our life to reap all the benefits. Don't let the benefits and opportunities of life in today's world pass you by because you aren't looking and feeling your best and you aren't confident. If we can get to that point of feeling really confident in our own skin and knowing who we are as women and doing things in our most authentic way, we will be in a position to take care, take advantage of everything that comes our way. And that is a beautiful thought for all of us as aging women. So we got to do that work first so that when the opportunities do present themselves, we are ready for them. So that's the underlying mission of what we do here in this community. Okay, so let's see, Lori, I bought two dye boxes, one for me and one for a gift. Well, aren't you the best friend or family member to have? I think that that's beautiful. And at the price, I think $69 is what they're selling this for. Mm -hmm. And it's well over $100. And you get um, the refill of of this also. So a uh, quick note real quick before we get out of here. The thing that changed everything for me with cleanse me is I have hooded eyes, hooded eyelids as a lot of people do. And I used to think that I wasn't finding the right eyeliner. Like, look how my eyeliner is just like stays, right? But it used to end up like up here in my eyes. And it was because of the makeup remover that I was using. And when I started using this cleanse me, which is water. It's not whale based. Um, I stopped having that problem with my eyeliner. And I used to think that it was like, it was my eyes and I was buying the wrong kind of eyeliner. So I spent hundreds of dollars searching for eyeliner that worked for me. And it was just the makeup remover that I was using. Switched my makeup remover, got this not oil based. My eyes and my face is, they're fresh after I take off my makeup. So now when I put my eyeliner on, it stays put. So there you go. Who knew that a uh, makeup remover could do that for you, right? Um, can you just do the lumen or do you have to do both? Do both what? Are you talking about like blood testing and glucose testing and ketone testing? No, you don't have to do both. But here's the thing about the difference between the two. 
the lumen tests metabolic flexibility from CO2 exchange in your body. So different events are going to change the output of your CO2. And that's what metabolic flexibility readings are with the lumen. If you're comfortable with that and that serves you and you don't want to prick your finger, then you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. If you want to know exactly what your glucose numbers are and exactly what your ketone numbers are, then that's where blood testing is beneficial because you're going to get an exact reading from your blood. A lot of times with lumen, it's a little bit of a gray area because you don't get an exact reading. You get a range, which is identified by a number. So I always say it's very personality driven and very goal driven. What outcome do you want? Do you want to know if you are in a state of ketosis? Then you have to test with blood. If you want to see improvements in your metabolic flexibility based on how you're fasting, how you're feasting, what you're doing in your exercise, how your sleep is, what your stress is like, then the lumen is going to be beneficial for you in that aspect of things. The thing that I always like to also, you know, put a little asterisk on with something like the Lumen is that it it is not a ketogenic type of device, so it's not going to tell you whether you're in ketosis. And they favor, it's the way they designed their program, carb cycling and are not always in favor or their community, I guess should say, of, of people is not always in favor of fasting. I use the Lumen and I get great results with the Lumen and I haven't had to modify my life. I've It just now reads my body and I fast the same way. I haven't changed anything. So you have to make sure you're okay with all those. And that again, goes back to just mindset work, right? How are you coming into this? The Lumen's not going to fix anything for you. Testing your blood glucose and, and ketones isn't going to fix anything for you. It's feedback, it's information, how you process that. And then your next move is going to be where you're going to be able to use that tool for, for you. So the Lumen is a metabolic flexibility testing device. You blow into it. Um, it was only available um, originally through um, really um, advanced and scientific type of laboratory testing. Um, but now uh, you can, the average person can get it thanks to Lumen. They created a device. Um, and so um, I'm going to put the code for Lumen if you guys want to go check it out. Um, Hold on. Uh, I gotta. Um, I can't type, type and, and talk. So I put the link in there for Lumen if you guys want to check it out with the seventy five dollar off um, discount code. Um, someone said something. Do you have to use Lumen and check your blood glucose if you? Do you have to use Lumen and or blood glucose if you take your course? Absolutely not. So I didn't test blood glucose or ketones, and I didn't have a Lumen. The Lumen's a pretty new product. For me, it's pretty new to the general population. Uh, so I didn't start testing until I was uh, probably two years into my journey. Um, and I just do it because it's fun. Like now, because my mindset changed and I don't make these mistakes anymore and I trust my body and it's more just like, gee whiz, are the things that I'm doing working for me? And blood testing and ketone testing tell me yes or no. Um, and the Lumen is also the same kind of thing. The Lumen for me was a big gift in the fact that it helped me realize other aspects of my life that were affecting my metabolic flexibility that weren't food or exercise related. And that was sleep and stress. And, um, <clears throat> and also how hard I was working out changed significantly. When I started using the Lumen, I realized I didn't have to work out so hard. I realized what my sleeping window should be for me to get the best restorative and restful sleep for my overall metabolic flexibility. And it also made me realize like when you're sick or stressed or, uh, have a big project do or those kind of things and your your it's not your norm um, how that also affects your metabolic flexibility so I love to use them as a G whiz type of informational device that adds to my life and if you go into it with that kind of approach it's super fun um, but a lot of people come back to me and they'll go my lumen said this or my I'm not in ketosis I don't understand why. Um, and that's when, that's where I really like to coach, go back and, you know, retrace your steps for the past couple of days and kind of see what happened. And then it's the big aha moment of why we got what we got. So that's that for that. But I got to run because I have a console calls to do today with some of our community members. And then I've got a 
dermatology appointment today. If you haven't had your skin checked lately and you're an aging woman, I highly recommend getting yourself into the dermatologist to check for little spots and things that are changing. My skin drastically changed as soon as I um, entered post menopause. And so I'm very dedicated now to making sure I get my skin checked on the regular because I was a sunbather most of my young life when my skin was, you know, I thought it was um, invincible. And so now I'm making sure I'm staying ahead of it to make sure I'm not going to be putting myself in any harm's way uh, with some things I did in the past. So I highly recommend that for you too, if you haven't done so. Mary, thank you, Diane, for your straightforward approach. Best advice, keep it simple, ladies, and relax into the lifestyle. Eat clean and all good things follow. Yes. And clean is defined by you, right? So just be very conscious and aware of the things you're putting in your body and how your body responds and reacts to those, those things. That's how I really define clean eating. And it's very personal, individual. Mary, you know that. So thank you for sharing. Uh, T. Thomas, replay. Awesome, girlfriend. I will see you on the replay. Make sure you leave me a comment over there. And then the rest of you, I'll see you Monday at noon Central Standard Time. Friday, tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the lumen a little bit more specifically. I'm also going to be sharing how I get myself into a state of GKI that I'm happy with. So if you follow me on Instagram, we'll do that tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Otherwise, I'll see y'all back here on Monday. Have a great weekend.